Great question. Yes, I can. Let's do it. First, we need cheese. Second, we need a meat slicer. Oh, and we need my secret quarter. You guys all store a quarter in your cupboard, right? Because it is perfect to remove the blade. It actually removes so many other things. Best way to slice cheese with a meat slicer is with a special blade that slices cheese. It's called a slicer blade. I didn't name it, the company did. I thought you would wanna see me remove the blade and change it. I don't touch the blade. It is very sharp. And see this blade has, it's not one solid blade. And then you just tighten this down. Looking in the background, Henry and Sophie. Henry went in Sophie's bed and Sophie was like, oh, playtime. Hmm, yeah, Henry, not so much. Of course, we're gonna slice some Tillamook cheese, um, right? Like, is there any other? I know these cows personally, there is no other. Let me just say that right now before you answer. Okay, you're gonna set your depth. I don't know what I want cheese yet, so we'll start it at five and see if it's too thick. Perfect bread slice is 13, 12 to 13. Put this on. Plug it in, plug it in. That's a little too thick. Let's go a little bit lower to three. Mm, three's perfect for a sandwich. Grilled cheese. Mm. I'm going to sit here and finish this and then I'm just going to freeze it. Put it in between layers of parchment paper and freeze it because all the dairy wives up here freeze their cheese. My coffee's almost done. That was kind of fun, huh? What's next? Give me something else to do.